Hey everybody, it's Badge. It's two o'clock in the morning, so I will be talking with the microphone inside my mouth. And you'll hear me breathing like a dirty old pervert at a school sports day. Deal with it. Um, I'm making these little sheepy sheep sheep pens. Um, getting the old Doc Hem style committee bouncing bugger. Um, Slightly adapted, but basically the same principle. Comes the water. As you can see, not quite perfect, but it works quite small. Um, 11 squares should be enough. We could make them bigger, first of all. But it takes so much resources for this one. Um, this is playing silly buggers. Thank you. And one from you. Now, I was having a terrible time with this one trying to breed the sheep. They all got lovey and bounced about, but no babies. And then I discovered because this is all of reclaimed land, as it were, that they were having babies, but because it's only one deep floor, the babies were spawning under here. Now, I don't know why that is. Probably a bug. Might be usable. Um, I don't know if that's the principle that Doc M's using on his motherboard. Um, I mean, it looks like he's got a hole and they pop out the hole. But uh, that could be interesting for future experimentation. Now, I've only been a couple of minutes and I've already had to fight off I spider jockey. He was running around inside my base. So, oh, fucking assholes. Can we any more of you? Seriously. Now, <coughs> Beef sent me a message with a rather cryptic comment on it. I think I might have been got. And if it is, what I think it is, I know who it is. Whoa, come back, come back, back. Oh, you shit. I hate this game. Check to see if there's any. Boats up here. Don't like it. I was going to do a playthrough of one of the missions on Skyrim this evening. I got on there, fully prepared to do it, and ended up getting stuck in a series of story quests, which meant an hour and a half later I. I'm no closer to doing it, so I'll have to do that over the weekend, probably. Let's have a snack. While we're on our boat. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that all looks pretty normal. Oh, it's buddy boats. Now, Nebs did say that he was going to, or at least threatened to, put a moustache on that. hasn't. Where's my boat gone? So I don't know what that was about. It has been got at. That yellow spot. It's got a white head. Fucking Enderman. No, don't go. He said he was giving uh, giving Goot his birthday present. So I wanted to meet up with him and find out what it was. I was going to give Goot a lovely birthday present. Whoops. I had it all worked out. Me to it. And that's annoying, frankly. as fast as a car anyway. Zoom. So yes, we're gonna pop over to Shea Good. See what vandalism has been done. He's normally on at this time of night, so... Maybe he's out partying. Pretending to be young. So, I need to think up a decent prank. Just a tricky old process. So the trouble is, Good is really the master of the prank and he does get you back well, which is why everybody wants to prank him, but we can't all 
Thank you. That wasn't there before, was it? Um, because, well, it's not fair on him, really. Once again, it would be quite fun to fill his house up with snowmen. But I'm not going to do that for what I'm going to do. He's still keeping his bed. Um, in my eagerness to get this done <coughs> before Good shows up. I forgot to press record. I apologise for that. Um, I know how Good and Boo like melons, so I'm giving him some. Again, it's not really a prank because it's not high enough quality. It's just a little bit of. Birthday fun. Uh, Paul is on and got very confused about his igloo that I finished for him. Right, what I really need to do is if I do that, will it grow under that? It might not grow under that. That's the only thing I'm worried about. That's I'm a bit worried I didn't bring enough melons with mind you I've got some grown there so I might till not till not So it's, what is it, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon here. Um, it's, make I'll make that probably about nine or ten in Goodland. Now, I think the chances of him coming on at this time in the morning on his birthday are fairly small. However, he does have a baby, which does wake him up. So, who knows what the score is. We are pushing our luck here, frankly. Right, what we need to do is see if I can get in. Good old pause. See, the problem is... Now, I don't know if things can spawn. I don't think they'll be able to spawn on melons. Um, but obviously there's going to be... You can't both be melon. There you go. That's silly. Oh, there's a flaw in the plan, isn't it?
Um, but yes, I don't know if they can spawn on seed area. I suspect they probably can. Uh, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful with the lighting, which is why. That's annoying as hell, that is. a 4x4 four four block. That would do it. But it wouldn't be as annoying. There's some that are...
Okay. Um, uh, a couple of days ago, I did a video standing here, and uh, I was quite cheesed off the whole game. Um, so I'm probably going to scrap that video and do it now uh, because I grumbled and I moaned. And I'm still going to grumble and moan, but it was a little excessive. The reason is I built this. Yeah, it is. Um, built this melon farm. It's kind of like uh, Doc M's thing. I'm thinking. I might put some more layers of water. I had water coming straight down from the ceiling, but that didn't work because when you pushed the button, they all kind of got stuck on the edge because they didn't go into the water properly. Whereas this one looks a lot better. However, saying that, I've just finished building a melon version of it, and that has the opposite problem where bits of melon. I don't think there's any in there at the moment. No. Um, because they explode, kind of fly out and do get stuck. So what I might do is I've got a obviously a water stream there, and then there's a water stream here going into the screen, as it were, uh, with fences underneath it. And I might put the same on each level, um, a layer of fences and a water stream, just pointing in a direction, just to catch them, and it will cascade down. That's possibility. Anyway, I just built this and I was standing here and I was waiting to test it. And obviously, you need to have some melons growing. Go on now. Um. So I was standing here waiting for it to grow, and I thought, well, this is my base. My base is safe, but you can see um, there's one pumpkin there. It's not perfect, but I can suffer the loss. Well, yeah, never see any bad guys here. Never. Um, it's, it's pretty well lit. So I will... Wait here, go downstairs, stick my dinner in the oven, come back, by the time I come back, this will all have grown and I could give it a test fire. So I did that, and when I came back, I was dead. I've been killed by a zombie, apparently. Never seen a zombie in this place before, ever. So that was quite annoying. Um, it was annoying because I had the best part of 40 something experience levels. I had a level 34 bow, I had my enchanted diamond armor from the caving run, I had um, silk touch pick on me, I had quite a bit of building materials, smooth stone and stone bricks and, and stuff some pistons, generally some quite expensive stuff, and I lost the lot. Every single bit. I wasn't gone for more than 10 minutes, I don't think, but obviously it was long enough. And that pissed me off, as I'm sure you can imagine. I then went and spent a couple of hours in the spider pit got up to level 50, enchanted a pick with level 50, and got efficiency 4. Nothing else, just efficiency 4. Um, obviously I, I got pissed off with that as well. Um, subsequently I have spent more time in the spider chamber and got up to level 35 I think when I did that one, because I'm trying to get a silk touch back. And that's twice as good as the level 50 pick. Uh, so, yeah, 
not a happy bunny. Anyway, that works. We've got some melons in here yet? Yeah, we got one. Boom. That works. And basically it's... Um, that's tilled. This, this dirt block is tilled and has a seed on it. Then the next two are not tilled and they have a piston behind them. And then the next two are tilled with seeds. And the next two aren't tilled and have pistons behind. Again, you can see there's one stuck there. It's not not the end of the world. But uh should get a stack in a bit out of that when it goes. Anyway, the other thing that pissed me off is I decided I was gonna build an apple farm. Um Apples are good. What am I looking for? I'm looking for an axe. I think I lost my axe as well. Yeah, I had a diamond axe. That, that went. Um, do I have any diamonds in here? Don't think I do. Um, sorry. Bear with. So, um, I sat and thought about how to do it, and I came up with a pretty good um, design. So I thought, and it was this, where I have my strip of trees, like I've got uh, down in the village, but I've got water underneath. So whenever anything drops from the trees, it lands in the water. The water all goes to a channel in the middle, which is blocked off with signs and actually gates in this case because they are a smidge cheaper than signs and signs are very annoying in case stack. Even the gates are slightly annoying because of their block update glitch. Yes, you see, all oh, water channels down to that. There's a channel going that way, there's another one going that way, and in the middle there's another hole with another channel that goes across, where it's the centre, it then tees off and goes down there. And all your bits and bobs fall out the end. Awesome design, I thought. Really pleased with that. So I said to Beef, come and have a look at my tree farm. He comes over, and he's like, oh yeah, a video made one of those. So there you go. I mean, I'm fully aware of the fact that there's very few things that are actually new in Minecraft. Um, but you'd rather if somebody else thought of these things, they were somebody that nobody's ever seen before. And, you know, in fairness, I don't watch a video's videos, and sorry, a video. But, I don't think he watches mine either, so... Screw you. But there you go. I was quite pleased with the layout. It works well. Um, but I did say to, uh, to Beef, I bet a video hasn't got a light on that tells you when things are ready to get picked up. Light off. Light on. Boom. We should put a bonger in as well. That'd be really cool. Light off. <laughs> or a, or a, 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 a flip flop or something. So place a tune. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. So. Um, in here, I shall probably put in a decent-sized wheat farm, keep myself, you know, self-sufficient and what have you. There's trees. Not a lot of apples coming out at the moment, truth be told. There's one. Whee. Whee. Oh, it's two. Awesome. 
There you go. Plop. Plop. Apple. One there. Here comes another one. See ya. But I can't like that. Works well. Seventeen apples. Rock on. Just gonna replant this. I mean as you see planting trees like this does work. In fact it works remarkably well. Oops. Falling in the water. And when you harvest them, they like to grow again. And because the height is restricted, thanks to the ceiling, um, you don't get the super big ones that are a pain in the ass to destroy. Oops, are falling in the water. Which is why I put ladders. Anyway, right, what I want to talk to you today is um, I'm not feeling it in Minecraft at the moment. I'm bored. Um, I want your help. I need something to build and I have some options. Um, part of me would like to build a giant castle. Let's get back into the, the giant castle thing like Adlington and Beef are doing. Um, it would be a serious project. Um, it would take a long time. It would be a realistic castle. Uh, it would either be a castle that already exists in the real world, or has existed in the real world, or possibly something from fantasy or film. Uh, I watched Beowulf the other night, um, and right near the end they do a pan up of a castle there, and that's quite a nice castle. It does get a bit frustrating doing real castles because you can't do some of the real um oh, that's so different. Oh, that's because that block's not there, I suppose. Um, oh, that's weird. You, you can't you can't do some of the architectural features and oh yeah, bugger. and it starts getting quite frustrating. Uh, but that is that is one option we can do. The other option, or an other option, is... Well, what was it? Oh, yes. I, I looked at some of my earlier videos um, with the space pod thing. Um, if you haven't... If you're fairly new subscriber and you haven't watched those, go and watch those. I think it's about sort of episode 5 or something, I start start building that. Um, I'm tempted to build some more spacey based things. Um, I was speaking to Arcus yesterday, I think, and I did ask him if his was a spaceship, because when Gude went on his little tour of it, um, when he went out the back it really started looking like a spaceship, which it, it hadn't even occurred to me it was a spaceship until um, until that shot, and then it just suddenly looked like a massive UFO. 
and he kind of implied it sort of was could be kind of thing um, so there is precedent on the current server for doing something like that blah blah blah, 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 blah. hello so that's a possibility um, again I, you know you can't really challenge Arcus's builds because they're not quite phenomenal, frankly. Um, but when you start doing again large scale, it does become a bit of a pain in the ass. Lots of, I mean, he's, you know, how long has he been on the server? Several, several months, I think it's been going. Isn't it? It's only just starting to take shape. So these are big, big builds, big commitments. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I would do. Eighteen apples. <laughs> but that's another possibility. And the third possibility is one word: airships. I like airships. Um, again, they're going to be big airships. They're not going to be little little boats with a, a balloon above them. They're going to be big airships. Um, I don't think I showed you this, did I? It's not particularly effective. But you stand here. Um, so yeah, that's that's the other option. Um, it will probably be some sort of airship port town um, with you know sort of, sort of docks and stuff like that, and some some sort of large battleship airship thing. I don't know. Um, again, it's a bit sad you can't actually do anything with them. Like fly them about because that would be great. But uh, and I suppose technically the other option is wait for 1.2 and go and build a Tarzan jungle house thing. But I think everybody's going to do that, so it's not really not really that exciting, is it? Something just done like that, but it didn't seem to drop anything. That's interesting. Why did you not drop anything? Um. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on those suggestions. Um, if you've got any other ideas you would like to see, um, do comment and we'll have a look. Um, hello! There's no guarantee I will do any of them. Yay! Pearl! First pearl I got from one of those in a long time. Um, but, you know, as I say, let me know what you think. And we can have a go. Um, as you see here, this is a pack rat style on darkroom can we can't really see but take my word for it it's not a bit of you seems to be functioning but I think the fact of the matter is that the pack rat's got about 40 floors on his whereas I've got two so it's not quite as productive as it could possibly be Um, yeah, to say. Um, if 
do you want a big castle? Say, big castle! If you want a thingamabob. Alien space pod thing. Not, well, I should clarify this. I don't mean build another one of the same, because I've already built one, but it will be in that similar vein. Sort of roundy, curvy, poddy things. I don't really know. Maybe a big one, but they never build a big one. It's going to look quite a lot like Arcus's. So, well, at least externally, anyway. So I don't know. Maybe. Um, so if you want that, say yes. Alien pod, if you want airship, say airship. It's pretty simple. Um, again, you know, if everybody said airship and I wasn't feeling airship, then I wouldn't necessarily do it. But I do want, you know, your input, your thoughts. Let me know what you're feeling. It's frankly quite right at the moment. I'm not feeling much. Um, I think part of the problem was that I got a bit... <sighs> now, you see, I've got to be careful what I say here so I don't get taken out of context. It didn't piss me off so much, but, you know, I've been struggling with subs recently. It's gone down quite a lot, and then Again, I don't really care. I mean, it's nice to know that people are enjoying what you're doing. Um, but it's not my sole purpose on this earth, is to get subs. But, I'm trying to get partnered with YouTube, and they've been sat on it for two months. Um, so that's not going anywhere. I don't, as I say, I don't do this for the money, but money would help, because... You know, things are pretty tight at the moment, and an extra you know, a few quid a month for doing this would be remarkably helpful. Um, so I'm trying to get partnered, I'm trying to get some ad income from that. They've put all of my uploaded videos since the end of December on hold, monetizing-wise, while they decide to check them to make sure they're okay even though they are all okay all my declarations copyright are all okay they're all the same yet um, I think it was like the third episode of the caving videos we did they okayed that straight away all the rest are currently on hold being reviewed I mean it, it defies belief it really does because again the music is exactly the same, the content is pretty much the same. The declaration at the end saying I own all the copyrights or I'm allowed to use the music is all the same. So I'm earning bugger all money on that. I mean, it's only the little ads anyway, which are a slice of shit all anyway. So, you know, it's going to take me a year before I get to the minimum amount they can pay out on that. So. You know, partnership would be rather helpful. Um, and as I say, it doesn't piss me off. But when you're in that sort of funk, um, getting pissed off with with numbers, and you do need more subs um, to say to YouTube, look, partner me. I've got lots of subs. Um, And then, you know, Beef gets a thousand subs in a day for the video of Goop pranking him. It was like a kick in the nuts. And then, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm happy for Beef. That's great. Good for him. Super. But, as I say, when you're trying to get partnered and trying to get some recognition from, from YouTube, um, and then somebody else comes along and says, hey, look, thousand subs. It's like, oh, why am I bothering? So, I guess what I'm saying is uh, subscribe. Obviously, you're watching this, so you probably are subscribed. If 
you're not, do it. If you are, get your friends to do it. Um, and if I get more subs, if my subtotal gets above beefs, I will do a naked vlog. There you go. Go. <laughs>